and the wounded warriors go to court. Mike Milburn has that story for you next in sports. Are. The Balboa Tennis Center is known as one of the best public tennis facilities in the country. And for one week a year, they open their courts to a special group of visitors from all across the USA. Mike Milburn has our story. A larger than normal crowd filled the Balboa Tennis Center on Tuesday as the fifth annual National Wounded Warrior Tennis Camp was getting underway. 50 veterans from 24 different states are expected to attend this year's event, which is led by the club's tennis director, Jeff Griffin. Being a tennis pro, I know tennis is a great sport for these people. I mean, it, it, it's an easy, it's not an easy game to play, but it's an easy game to have fun with. And a lot of them are never going to get introduced, introduced to tennis from wherever they're from. So this is one way to introduce them. Physically helps you stay in shape or makes you get in shape to compete when you go back home to play tennis or any other uh, sport. The camp's primary focus is on improving the veterans' tennis skills and overall fitness, while at the same time, helping them reintegrate into the community. If you'd asked me 20 years ago if I'd be playing tennis, I would say absolutely no. <laughs> but I found I really love it. It's a challenge, because every day is a challenge, but I'm learning that life is not just work. And while it's important for everybody to stay active and fit, for these veterans right here, the benefits are far more than physical. Isolation is like a big thing for me, and so I'm not able to get out and uh, be with like like-minded individuals. And so being able to come out and spend time with other veterans and other people going through like the same challenges or different challenges, um, and being able to like just come together and for like a central goal for tennis and learn to play a sport that I now love, you know, it's been an amazing opportunity. From the Balboa Tennis Center, Mike Milburn, KUSI Sports. Mike, that's a great story. Uh